the name? Kayla, 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 Kayla. Stay right there. Stay right there. I just, I just got to jump in. I got to talk to you, sis. All right, because you, you a sister to me. How old are you? 22 years old. You're a young sister. You got your whole life ahead of you, sis. Good. You understand? Good. Um, Naeem, yes. are you married? Yes. All praises to the most high. Yes. I've been married for uh, 19 years, been together for 24. One wife, right? One wife. All praises one to the wife. most high. That's what we teach. That's, right. That's what we teach according to the one Bible. Wife. Do you want to be married one day, sis? Yes. Yes, no, maybe so? Yes. Yes, okay. Now, I'm going to ask you this. Back, back on your attire, all right? What is it that, what do you like so much about pants? Because I, I see it's a stronghold on you. It's hard to come out those pants, I know, all right? But what, what is it that you like so much about the, about the pants? What is it? What is it that's, that's making you, you know, you know, wrestle in your spirit? It's comfortable. Say it again? It's comfortable. They're comfortable. Okay. Because our people hate to do what? Our people hate to do what? What do our people hate to do? Follow the laws. Structures uh, and commandments. Our people hate to change. Right? Our people hate to change. We hate to change. We hate to change. We hate to change. So you have to understand when we come into this to this knowledge of God God doesn't accept us who we are you understand we've been taught that but that's a lie there's no Bible scripture that you'll read that says God will accept you how you are the Bible says that you must change you understand all right give me a uh, what you got um, but my thing is what Second he wants for you 14, to do is I think 23 he wants for you to come to him as you are, so that he can change you. So like he doesn't want for you to put on for anything, like he wants for you to come to you as you are in your heart. So that you can stay the same, my brother? No. So that you can do what? Anybody who encounters God changes. When Jacob encountered God. So that you can do what, brother? Does the most I want you to stay the same or he no, wants you to change? He, change? he wants you to change. That's the point that we're making. So he's trying to reaffirm what I just said. You understand? The Lord wants you to change. Is that what I want? Second Ezra chapter 14. Uh, subdue your own understanding. 14, 14, 14. Second Ezra chapter 14. Verse 2. Verse. Verse. That's a, that's 34. 34. Read that for me, please. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 13. Chapter 14. And, chapter 14 and verse 34. Bring it out. Therefore, if you so be that ye will subdue your own understanding. What did the Bible say? That you should subdue your own understanding. We've been taught a lot of things that's not right. It's incorrect. Do you understand? Yes, we've been taught a lot of things that's not right. So we have to subdue those things that we've been taught. A lot of those things that we've taught have become comfortable. You understand? They're comforts for us now. But that doesn't mean that they're right. right. The Bible says that we have to subdue our own understanding. Right? Meaning that it's, 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 it's something that you're going to have to put into submission. Have you ever seen... Uh, a wrestling match before? Say it again. A long time ago? You saw what now do you think the, the wrestler that won, was it easy for him or was it difficult? Was it easy for that wrestler that won the match or was it difficult? It all depends on who you got God on the side. Well, have you ever seen a wrestling match before? Yeah. Alright, so had you ever seen an easy match for a wrestler? Yeah. You have? What's the last one you've seen? I was a child. Okay. Most of the time. I bought, I bought. Most of the time. Most of the time, there's going to be some struggle in a wrestling match. You understand what I'm saying? Nine times out of ten. All right. Nine times out of ten, there's going to be a struggle. You understand? UFC, you might have a one hit a quitter. But in a wrestling match, you gonna have a tussle. You gotta pin them to the ground. You understand? Nobody just gonna lay down for you. You understand? So the Bible is saying that we have to wrestle the things that we've been taught in our mind right. and we have to subdue them. That's right. We have to pin them to the ground. You understand what I'm saying? So there's things that we've been taught that's not correct. All right? Read it again. Therefore, if so be that ye will subdue your own understanding and, and set form your heart. And do what? And set forth your heart. And do what? And set forth your heart. Ye shall be kept alive. We shall be kept what? And ye shall be kept alive. We shall be kept alive. Now, that says reform. Read it again. Read it right. Therefore, if so be that ye will be, subdue your own understanding and reform. And do what? And reform. It says to reform. Reform what? 
your, reform your heart. You, you know what your heart is? According to the scriptures, you think it's that thing that pump in your chest? Oh, talk so good. Please do it. Is that what you think? Please tell is that me. what you thought it was? Come on. You can, you can be honest with me. When it said you have to subdue your heart, did you think it was that thing that pumps blood through your body? Bring it up. Is that what you thought? You kind of sort of thought that. Most of us kind of sort of thought that too. That's right. My brother, when you read the scriptures and you read, read it again. Therefore, if so be that you would subdue your own understanding and reform your heart. When you read heart in, your, in the Bible, the scripture said reform your heart. Did you think it was that thing that beat in your chest? That's what did you think it was? That's just a muscle. He says the mind. Did you see what the man said? The man said, that's talking about your mind. The man said, that's talking about your mind. And he's 100% correct. That is talking about your mind. Because where does our understanding come from? It comes from the things that's inside of our mind. Right. All right. Give me Mark chapter 7 verse 21. There's all types of things that you have to subdue in your mind. That's not correct. And we all battle with these things. Read what you got. The book of Mark, chapter 7 and verse 21. Now remember what we was talking about. Right? I came up because I saw you wrestling with the pants. I saw you wrestling with That's why I, came. I said, I got to talk to my sister. Because she wrestling in her spirit with them pants. I got to see what's going on. All right? Now, for you to change clothes... Is that an easy thing for you to do, or is it difficult? I'm not talking about change into this or that. Just to change clothes, regardless of what it is. Is it a hard thing for you to do, or is it difficult to change clothes? Say it again. It's easy, right? Do you agree? Sister, sister, do you agree? You learning a, that's a distraction. You got to get off the phone with them. You learning the truth right now. They're trying to distract you from that. This is all prophecy right now. You may not understand this, sis, but you're a part of prophecy right now. That's right. You understand? The devil don't want you to learn this. He wants you to keep the pants on. That's what he wants you to do. You understand? Now, my brother, what's your name with the black shirt on? Uh, Darren. Darren? Darren. Darren? Derek? Yeah. Derek. 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 You said it's an easy thing, right, for you to change clothes. That's a very easy thing to do. Right? Now listen to what the Bible says about our hearts and how wicked that thing is. Read what you got. For from within, out of the heart. Out of where? Out of the heart. So out of your mind, right? Come on. Of men proceed of evil thoughts. From your mind comes evil thoughts. She's listening now. Read it again for her. I thought the devil had you, sis. I thought you was a goner, but you back. All praises. All praises to the most high. You back. Read it again for the sister. For from within, out of the heart. Meaning, meaning out of the mind, right? Because the heart doesn't think. You understand? The heart does not think about these things. You tell me what thinks about these things. Out of the heart of men proceed evil thoughts. Does those thoughts come from the thing that beat in your chest? No, they come from your mind. So when you read heart in the Bible, it's talking about what? Your mind. Come That's on. Right. Adulteries. What comes from your mind? Adultery. What comes from your mind? Adultery. What comes from your mind? Adultery. Adulteries come from your mind. That's right. You know what adultery is? Every man that's having sex with a woman that's not his wife is in the midst of adultery. That's right. Every single man out here. That's having sex with a woman that's not his wife is in the midst of adultery. Right. That's sin according to the Bible, and God is going to judge it. You understand? Yes, so we've come out here to teach the truth to our people. Right. Now let me ask you this, sis. Now let me ask my brother, because we need the men to rise up. Because once the men rise up and set these women in order, all these little monsters running around these neighborhoods gonna be in order. That's so right. we're gonna start with the men. You understand? I want you to listen good though. All right, don't go to sleep. Listen good, pay attention. All right, my brother, is it a very easy thing to stop thinking about adultery? Is it easy to do that? Not really. No, it's not. Right. You understand, it's not easy to do that, sis. Right. 
It's not easy. Now, my sister, do you think it would be a little easier for him to see you, you understand, and not lust after your sexiness if you covered yourself up a little more? Do you think it would make it a little difficult? Do you think make it might make it more difficult for him? Or, or you think it's going to intensify his lust if you continue to dress sexual? Which one? Say it again. It's going to intensify it. That's right. You see how that works? You see, now, let me ask you this, because you look like a loving sister. You look like a loving sister. Or are you full of hate? Which one? No, no hate. You love, right? You're a loving sister, right? Right. Now, are you showing hatred to this brother? Or are you showing love to him? When you walk out the house dressed and sexy, which one are you? Are you showing love to your brother? Because you're giving him something good to look at? <laughs> or are you showing him hatred by causing him to lust after you? Right. Which one is it? Honestly, I don't think about it. Say it again? You don't think about what? I'm not I know you I know you may not have thought about it when you got dressed. Even though you looked in the mirror and then looked back like that. I know you didn't think about it. Because all of our sisters do that. Right. They get dressed and they look in the mirror and they like how it looks. Oh, it looked good. That's now right. I can walk outside. Yeah. You understand? That's what our sisters do. All right? So you may not have thought about it in that way before you walked out the house. But I'm asking you this now because we're sober-minded right now. You understand? The Spirit of God is right here, right now. That's right. You understand? So you understand what I'm saying. So in that moment, all right, that you come out, that you come out the store or you walk into the store and you dress sexy. You understand? By that I mean it, you got your curves showing. What? Right. You understand? You don't got your breasts out right now, but some sisters come outside with their breasts out. What? Right. You understand? When sisters do that, they dress that way. They're not modest. You understand? Are they showing love to their brother or hatred? Which one? That's hatred. That's, right. That's very easy to see. You understand what I'm saying? Now I want you to read the scripture again from the top. Come on. For from within... Out of the heart of men. My brother, my brother, what's his name? I need you to come back. Hold on, come back, come back. Read it again from the top. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. So these things come from your mind. Listen to what the Bible says come from your mind. Come on. Adultery. Adultery comes from your mind. Now it's very hard to stop thinking about another woman that's not yours. It's hard, it's, it's hard to stop doing that. My sister, is it easy to stop thinking about a man that's not yours? That you're attracted to? Is it easy to do that? That I'm attracted to? A man you're attracted to, but he's not yours. Meaning, he's not your husband. He don't belong to you. You don't belong to him. Right? But you're attracted to him. Is it easy for you to stop thinking about him? I'm talking late at night when you lonely. you lonely. Is it easy? Is it easy for you to stop thinking about that sister you saw in the store? She reminded you of that sister? You understand? You know what I'm talking about, sis? Is it easy to stop thinking about people that you're attracted to? Make it plain for me. I'm going to ask the man. He's going to tell the truth. Hey, is it easy to do that, my man? Is it easy to stop thinking about people that you're attracted to? No, Dress I think sexual? I think so. No. Dress promiscuous? I think so. It's easy to stop thinking about them? I think so. No. You think so? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I well, do. I used to be that dude. It's very hard I for us to, to do it. I used to be a Jezebel. You understand? I used to be a Jezebel. Let me ask you this. Because you read the scriptures, right? Right? And Paul, was that a mighty man in the, in the spirit or was he a weak man? He was a mighty man. You understand? But Paul, was it easy for Paul? To stop thinking about his lust within him? Thanks. Was it easy? Because you're a mighty man in the spirit. Right? Give me, give me Romans chapter 7. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you this Bible's a true book. Alright? I'm going to show you this Bible's a true book. Because I'm with you. 
It's hard for me to stop thinking about sisters I see. Right. You understand that I'm attracted. I'm gonna keep it on it. Right. That's why I gotta read the Bible every day. Right. Every single day I gotta read the right. Bible. That's because right. if I don't, you know where my mind will go? It'll go all over the place. Right. I'm gonna keep it on it with you, bro. Right. That's why I got these things on right here. Right. You understand? These are called fringes. They're supposed to remind me of the commandments. You read that in the Bible. Because God knows how wicked our minds are. You understand? We'll read that for you. But first, I want to show you about Paul. Read what you got. Romans chapter 7. Now jump to verse 11. Get to the point. The book of Romans chapter 7 and verse 11. It's a mighty man in the spirit. Come on. For sin, taken occasion by the commandment, deceived me, and by it slew me. The good I would do I won't. It's a battle. Uh, what verse is that? Uh, is that night? Verse, verse, uh, 19, I got verse 19, come on. Verse 19, for the good that I would, I do not. You hear that? Paul says, there's good in my mind that I want to do. I see the sister. I know I got a wife. You understand? I, I shouldn't even look that way. Right. You understand? That's the good that he wants to do. You understand? Read it again. For the good that I would, I do not. I do not, meaning what? Meaning, there's something in him telling him not to do good, right. do evil. Right. There's a battle in everybody's mind. Right. But maybe you exempt from it. Maybe you exempt from it. All right? Maybe you ain't got that battle. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got that battle. Sisters can't. Right, right. That's, that's good. All praises. All praises. The Lord will remove that spirit. Right. But if you're confessing to me that you dealt with it at one point in time, you know what that means? What does it mean? Right? It means you're a fornicator, and what else does it mean? A liar. And what else does it mean? Uh, everything else. Give me Matthew chapter 12, all right? Yeah. I think that's what I want. Yeah. I want about the, the seven spirits that leave, all right? Because you confessed to me that you was battling with that. You understand? So what I want to warn you is this. You got what I want? Yes, Read what you got. The book of... Make the, truck. Make the book of Matthew chapter 12 and verse 43. When the unclean spirit is gone. So, oh. so the unclean spirit for you was what? Uh, sexual, it was sexual lust. lust. You understand? Many of us yes. battle with that spirit. Yes. You thought you were the only one? Is that what you thought? No. Okay, very good. All praise to the most high. So the unclean spirit for you was sexual lust. That's what you confessed to me. Correct. Now listen to what the Bible says. But I'm going to ask you this first. Is the Bible a true book? Of course. All praise to the most high. Read on. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest. Seeking what? Rest. So he's looking for another body to inhabit. That's what that spirit is doing. A spirit will leave you. You understand? Right. It was just like hunger. Right? You get hungry, what do you do? You eat. What happens after you eat? Are you still thinking about food? Nine times out of ten, you're not. Hopefully. You're like, y'all wasn't even that hungry. I could have went a whole another five hours without eating. After you did eight, huh? and then what happened five hours later? You ready to eat again? Right. Guess what? It's the same way with these spiritual appetites that we have. Do y'all understand that? Yeah. So when that spirit leaves you, it may not be five hours. It may not be five days. It may not be five years. It might be 15 years later. Right. What's that spirit going to do? Read on. Seeking rest. What's that spirit going to do? Read on. Seeking rest and find of none. So when that spirit leaves for 15 years and it can't find rest, what is it going to, it's going to do what? It's going to do what? It's going to try to come back Let's read on. Then he saith, I will return into my house from which I came out. What was the house that the spirit came out of? What was the house that the spirit came out of, sis? What was it? Say it again. What was the house that the spirit came out of, my brother? The body. It was the body that it left. Mm -hmm. You understand? So when that spirit left you, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Does that mean that you've overcome and you're never going to battle that again? No. So what I'm trying to show you mm -hmm. is even though you're not battling that right now, my brother, you need to prepare yourself for war. Right. Because that spirit's coming back. That's right. And when it comes back, you better have Christ within you. That's right. You better have your brothers around you. Right. You better be studying, praying, and applying. Right. Or that spirit's going to conquer you. Right. You understand? What is the nation?
nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.